I S U P K. Hey, slow, man. This is Priest Kevin the Dome Hall with the I S U P K. On the Command of Journey Island in California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Run. It's not nothing on wild, it's not the 5G towers. It's not the coronavirus vaccine. You want to know what's the biggest kept secret on the face of the earth? That blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Jews according to the Bible. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's the biggest kept secret on the face of the earth. And this is why Christ is saying the, he has enemies because America are the real anti-Semites. America culture is anti-Semitic. America does not want blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to know that they are God's chosen children. You know why? Because maybe if we knew that we were God's children, maybe we would act like it. Maybe black men wouldn't kill black men. Maybe black women wouldn't murder babies in the abortion clinics. Maybe we wouldn't sell drugs to our own people. Maybe the cops wouldn't murder us be because they think they're murdering the Jews. Right. Let me help you with something. Right now in America, there is a wave of everybody being scared to say something anti-Semitic. Right. You don't want to know who the most protected groups in America are? The so-called Jewish men, white women, and gays. You cannot say anything wrong about the so-called Jewish men, white women, and gays. You know why? Because the Jewish man has lied and said that he is God's special children. The Jewish man has deceived the entire earth into believing that he is special when he is not the real Jew. How the hell is some white man the real Jew when Christ is a black man? You know Christ was a Jew, right? Give me Revelations 1 and 13. We'll prove it. See, we don't come out here just to make say things that sound good, and we don't come out here to appease the people. We come out here to tell the truth. And we're going to tell the truth. The truth that Deshaun Jackson was trying to say, but he got cowardly and backed out of it. You know why? Because Deshaun Jackson knows that America doesn't want black men to tell the truth. Deshaun Jackson knows as soon as black men tell the truth, people lose money, people lose jobs, people lose lives, man. You know, we were murdered for reading the Bible. There's a misconception about slavery that black people were not allowed to read. That's a lie. You know how you know it's a lie? Because why did Virginia pass a law after Nat Turner killed all those white people that black people couldn't read? Because we were able to read before then. We were able to read the blueprints for Master so we can build his goddamn house. We were able to read how much corn and cotton we got to collect for Master to make him rich. We were able to read the things that made the white man rich. But you know the one thing we were not able to read? The biggest kept secret. And that was this book right here. Hold this book up, brother. This ain't no fairy tale book. This is not the Quran. It's not the Book of Mormon. 
This is not no goddamn watchtower. This is the Holy Bible, man. And you know why the white man did not want black people to read this book? Why they went in slavery? Because guess what? We've been taught this is the white man's book. The oppressor knows that this book is really black supremacy. The oppressor knows that this book is really real black revolution. The oppressor knows that this book says that they should be in slavery and that we should rule the earth. But they have turned everything upside down. And now we believe that the real Jews are white. When the real Jews are black, and I'm gonna prove it to you, it's right here in the Bible. Max Hellerman, y'all know who he is? That's good, he a devil, he irrelevant anyways. Some white boy who doesn't have the physical capabilities to play any sport, so he commentates on what black men do and everything. You know how that, that's how that go. All these white boys get jobs being commentators about people playing, about brothers playing these sports because they don't have the talent to do it. I wish we had our own black leagues. I wish we had our own black everything so these devils wouldn't even speak on what we do. Why we got white boys commentating on the greatness of black men? Who qualified you? Let me see you do a backflip. Let me see you bench press 300 pounds. Pathetic, pathetic devils, man. But the Bible says Christ is a Jew. And we're gonna find out the color of Christ. The greatest man that ever walked the face of the earth. We're gonna find out what color, what race was he. Tell them where you at. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. The Bible says, now in the midst of the seven candlesticks, the seven candlesticks in the Bible represents the seven schools that Christ, that Paul had set up, man. Just like we have a school right here, ISUPK DC, we have ISUPK in New York, ISUPK in Philly, Chicago, all over the country and outside the country, we have schools under commanding General Yohanna, man. We are the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge, started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanna, man. We are not affiliated with no other Israelite group or Christian organization. And just like now, we have schools where the prophets dwell. Guess what? It was the same back then. And it says in the midst of these seven schools, there was one likened to the Son of Man. When you read the Bible, Christ is referred to as the Son of Man, man. And this is going to describe the Son of Man, Christ. Matter of fact, give me Revelations 1 and 1. The book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of The revelation, what does the word revelation mean? Does anybody know? What does the word revelation mean? I know it's dry out here. All the uh, coronavirus got everybody scared. Get the most high hand, man. This is beautiful. DC looking like uh, Apocalypto or something, man. Looking like Zombie Land. Like World War Z. <laughs> World War DC, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. And guess what? It's going to get worse because America has made themselves enemies of God by not telling the truth according to this Bible. Now, what does the word revelation mean? I'll help you. The word revelation means to reveal, to unveil, to reveal. So right now, we want to find out the revealing of Jesus Christ. Of who? Jesus Christ. Our King, the greatest man that ever walked the face of the earth, a black man from the tribe of Judah. We're going to find out the revealing of Jesus Christ. Now you got to ask yourself, why would the Bible have to reveal something about Jesus Christ? Right, you know why? Because white America wants to shut Deshaun Jackson's mouth. The same way America has always wanted to shut the mouth of the prophets. The same... And Deshaun Jackson was right, man. The Jews are black, man. And the greatest Jew of them all is... Jesus Christ! And he's black. And we're gonna find out right here, it's in the Bible. The Bible says the, reve the revelation of Jesus Christ. Now why would the Bible have to reveal something about Christ? You know why? Because the Bible prophesied there will be a people to come and lie about Christ. You know right now, still in America, our grandmamas and mamas and aunties and the pastors believe that this white boy is Christ. When the Bible's going to show you that's not who Christ is. Christ does not look like that. The Bible's going to describe Christ. Y'all rock with me for a second. Because they want to say that Deshaun Jackson was anti-Semitic. 
They want to say black people are nobodies when guess what? The Bible is going to say something completely different. Read that. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. So Christ had on a garment clothed to the foot. Right now it's going to describe what Christ looked like. It is going in depth into saying even what he had on. Christ had a garment down to the foot. That's traditional Israelite culture, man. To wear warlike apparel. You see the Japanese, they wear, what's it called, uh, the komodos or what they call it? The little robes. The, uh, the Muslims wear their little dresses. Everybody has hijacked our original culture and they make it gay. When the original way it's supposed to be done, it's how Christ did it. It's how the brothers in the ISUBK do it, man. And Christ had on a garment down to the foot. A girt about the paps with a golden girl. And girt about the paps. The paps is your midsection, man. Christ was girded with a belt, man. Christ had a war belt on, man. Back in old times, when you went to war, you would put on a, a thick belt right here. Why? So somebody stabs you right here, you got protection. The same way I got this vest on, they would have a belt when they went to war. This lets you know Christ was a warrior. Christ was not this homosexual that did, come, come touch me, come love me, come kiss me. That's not Christ, man. Why in all the movies they portray Christ, he always wants somebody to touch him. Well, he just got his hand out and just looking just pitiful. It's like a whole entanglement. That's what, that, that's what the white Christ looked like, just an entanglement. Disgusting, man. The real Christ was a warrior. And we're going to keep finding out what else Christ looked like. Keep reading. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Stop. It said his head and his hairs. His head is referring to the hair on his head. And his hairs is referring to his beard. The Bible is going to describe Christ's head on his head and his beard. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Were white like wool. Like wool. White is a color. Wool is a texture. Christ had white woolly hair, man. White woolly hair. Let the end of this brother beard right here. Only people on the face of the earth that have woolly hair are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And I know it's hard to see it now. He's like, well, Hispanics don't have woolly hair. Listen, the, the Bible says Israel is a speckled bird. Meaning we come in many different shades. But we're all the same people by blood, man. We want to join ourselves to people because they look like us. When you just because somebody look like you don't mean they're you. You understand what I'm saying? You are what your father is. Ask Hitler. <laughs> the Jewish man looked just like the Germans. And when you, when you come to find out, the Jewish man now are the Germans. But Hitler didn't give a damn. Hitler killed six million of, of them so-called devils. How you? <laughs> he thought they looked better as so, man. But guess what? The Bible says Christ had woolly hair. Who has woolly hair, man? Blacks. We have woolly hair. Blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. Does this picture have woolly hair right here? No, it doesn't. That's strike one, man. That's strike one. This picture got stringy hair. Keep reading. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, man. Christ's eyes were red. You know why? Because just like black men today in oppression, we like to have a good drink, man. Right. And Christ liked to have himself a good drink. And what happens to black men when we have something to drink? Our eyes start to get red. Right. Don't act like you don't know, because some of y'all got DUIs out there. Because of those eyes was red. It was real glassy and red. You understand what I'm saying? Christ had red eyes because he liked to enjoy a drink the same way we do now. And he wasn't no drunk. You understand what I'm saying? Keep reading. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now his feet like unto fine brass. Let me ask somebody something. It's not hard, but Christianity makes everything stupid. Let me ask you something. When you look at your feet, aren't your feet the same color as the rest of your body? No. You know, some people, some people asking, like, oh, hold up. I ain't talking about ashy. I'm talking about the skin tone. Aren't your feet the same color as the rest of your body? Yes. For the most of us, yes. Now, if you had certain ailments or certain things happen to you in life, I, you know, that's unfortunate. Lord be with you. But most people's feet are the same color as their body. And Christ's feet was what? As bird. I'm sorry. It's a fine brass. Christ's feet was the color of fine brass. 
Anybody know what brass looks like? Anybody know? Let me see if I got a penny in my pocket. Now I don't keep pennies. Christ was the color of a penny. You look at a penny right now, that's what brass looks like. But not only was Christ brown, it's gonna describe something else about Christ. As if they burn in a furnace. As if a burn in a furnace. Let me ask you something. Whenever you burn anything, what color does it turn? Black. Black. You could take white computer paper right now and put it right here and crumble it up and light it on fire. That white computer paper is going to turn black. Christ was a dark-skinned black man from the tribe of Judah, man. That's not this devil right here. So how do we get this image? Why do we believe now that the white man is God? That Christ is white? That the prophets were white? Brother, they don't know no better. Not only, on, not only that, we've been taught otherwise. We've been lied to. That's the biggest kept secret. Everybody want to be scared about conspiracy theories. This is the biggest conspiracy theory on the face of the earth. That the greatest man that ever walked the face of the planet has been whitewashed to be white. I wouldn't be surprised 50 years from now they're going to say Tupac was a white man. Listen, that's what they do. Michael Jackson was white. He white right now, right. Listen, anybody, any black man that did something great, they whitewashed him. They said the first president of the United States was a black man, John Hanson. You look up, the, look up a picture of John Hanson right now, guess who you'll see? A white boy. Well, that's not John Hanson. They whitewash anything great that has anything to do with us because we aren't allowed to be looked at as great. We're not allowed to feel some sort of self-esteem about ourselves. You know why? Because as soon as we feel some self-esteem as the children of Israel, then we'll start to act accordingly, man. Give me Deuteronomy 7 to 6. The brother brought it out earlier, man. This is one of my favorite scriptures right here. Because if I'd have known this a long time ago, maybe I wouldn't have made some of the mistakes I would have made. Maybe. I'm hard-headed. Maybe not. But still, just imagine how much of us, if we knew what we're about to read right now, it, what we would have not done if we would have known that we are actually special according to this Bible, man. We've been taught in America that we're nothing but thugs, niggas, spicks, rednecks, wetbacks, criminals, ancient, Salakia. You know what I'm saying? When that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says something completely different. And this is why Christ has enemies. Because America has painted a picture about our people that is not true according to this Bible. Keep reading. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, verse six. For thou art an holy people. The Bible says, for we are a holy people. If you are black, Hispanic, or Native American, the Bible says you are a holy people. What does the word holy mean? It don't mean all up in church faking and jumping around and acting stupid. Holy means separate. The Bible is saying blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a separate people. Why would the Lord want to separate us, man, from everybody else? I'll tell you why. Keep reading. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord thy God, thank you, brother. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The Lord has chosen us. What does it mean to be chose? To be chose means somebody gets picked and somebody gets excluded. If somebody's getting picked, that means somebody's getting left out. You should know. What we say when we in the club, oh, she choosing. She choosing, that means some brother's getting picked and some brother is going home by himself. That's what it means. To choose means somebody's getting left out. The beautiful thing about the Bible is we aren't the ones that's getting left out. The Lord has chosen us. Keep reading. To be a special people. To be a what? Special people. The Bible says, the Lord has chosen us to be a special people, man. We've been taught all our lives, some of us by our own parents, that we won't ever be anything, that we're not worth anything, that we're useless, we're worthless. All we can look forward to is prison or the grave. When the Bible says what? God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. The Lord has chosen us to be a special people unto himself, man. We are the real Jews according to the Bible. And we're gonna prove it some more, man. I wish Max Hellman was here right now. He's he gonna get a clinic right now. He told Jashad Jackson, maybe, he, 
was not him, it was some other devil, said Deshaun Jackson should come down to DC and come to the Holocaust Museum. Well, anybody seen that tape? Anybody seen that tape? First of all, let me give you the backstory. Because some of you all might, may not know. Deshaun Jackson is, is one of the greatest running backs of all time. Wide receiver, Salakia. Played for the Eagles. Deshaun Jackson just recently said on, on Twitter that America is going to be ashamed and upset when they find out that they've been lynching and murdering the real children of Israel. What Deshaun Jackson was saying is what the ISUBK has been saying since 1969. And that's the real Jews are black according to the Bible. But guess what? When Deshaun Jackson said it, America gave him all types of backlash. So much so that De Deshaun Jackson went and apologized for saying something that is absolutely true. And not only that, let's just say Deshaun Jackson said something that wasn't true. Isn't this America? Isn't this the land of the free? Home of the brave? Isn't this I got rights, America? Well, what about the First Amendment? Deshaun Jackson has the right to believe whatever the hell he wants to believe. These devils are the synagogue of Satan. They are not the real Jews according to the Bible. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. You know what's so sad? That we've allowed these people to lie to us when it comes to our own book. We've allowed these people to lie to us when it comes to our own heritage, our own culture. They took our culture and bastardized it, man. They run around here with those little uh, yarmulkes, little stupid hats. Shalom, shalom. They are never the Jews, man. Never were, never will be, man. Right. The Jews are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that America is oppressing right now. Right. The Jews are suffering in the ghettos, the burials, and the reservations. The Jews fear for their lives whenever the police gets behind them. The Jews are in cages at the border right now, man. The Jews are black. And the Bible says so. We're going to prove it to you, man. This is the truth. That's the problem. Black people love to talk about the Bible and all this Jesus talk and all this God talk, but nobody actually want to find out what the hell the Bible says, man. Let's read it from the source. Your pastor been lying to you. Your rabbi been lying to you. They been lying to you in the damn uh, Muslim mosque, doing all type of obscenities and freakisms to you in them churches and uh, kingdom halls. The Bible is the truth, man, and we come out here to teach the truth according to this book. You know why? Because this is our culture. This is our heritage. This is our history, man. And we've been running from it from it too long. Tell them where you at. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. Who? Judah morning. Judah morning. Do you even know the word Jew is short for Judah? How can the white man be a Jew? When the Bible says, Judah, mourning. Is the so-called white man in mourning right now? Is he in mourning? Does the so-called white man have to figure out how is his kid, how is his kids gonna eat because the school wasn't providing food? Is the so-called white man trying to figure out if his life is going to end today when he leaves out the house by some racist cop? Does the white man have to worry about his wife killing his baby in the abortion clinic? Does the white man have to worry about another white man murdering him off of gang violence? The Bible says the J Judah mourning, man. The real Jews are in mourning. I know we all know that feeling, man. How many black mothers have to live in constant mourning every day because their baby is not here no more? Because their son is not here anymore? Because their daughter is missing? because their child has been molested in the Christian church. How many of our people have to live in mourning? How many black men are in mourning but are, have to put on a front? You understand? One out of two, every black man are unemployed. And you, they wonder why we sell drugs. It's wrong for us to sell drugs, but goddamn, we are the only people that live in these conditions and then are expected to just suck it up. Just, just chuck it up. Just pull up, put yourself up by your bootstraps. Do you know if any other race of people suffer the things that we suffer, 
they would riot and tear this country down, man. If the white man suffered half the things that we go through on a daily basis, there would be no DC. There would be no Chinatown. There would be no New York. There would be no goddamn Philadelphia Eagles. There would be the Philadelphia AKs. Philadelphia Desert Eagles. That's what happened if the white man went through half of what we went through. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.